This is a case of a dense vitreous hemorrhage in a patient with Tearson syndrome, a resident starting the case here, putting the trokers. You can see the trokers went uh, very anterior with the first two. Now we're improving on the third troker and placing the trokers anteriorly can lead to a lens breach. There's no red reflex, it's a very yellow reflex from the dense uh, chronic vitreous hemorrhage. So uh, the resident chose to stain the capsule with uh, tripan blue as well as with re uh, used retroillumination. Fecal mastication uh, sped over here but went uh, all very well. As you'd expect, cortical removal was difficult, especially with the um, uh, poor red reflex. Now this is the main focus of the video clip on what I call a vertical vitrectomy. When you cannot see the retina, so we we'll start cutting vertically up until you start seeing the retina. The idea is that if you create a retinal break, uh, if you're cutting into the retina, that would be a superiorly. And also saves a lot of time because in many times you're not sure and the time is wasted until you find what's happening. Then we can see here the retinal blood vessels, so completing the vitrectomy uh, step. And this is sped over so many times. And just showing how to continue the vitreous hemorrhage removal. In usual, we're not very aggressive. We indent inferiorly to remove hemorrhage that is attached to the aura serrata inferiorly because that can be a source of. Uh, leaching and early post after vitreous cavity hemorrhage. But in general, we try not to be aggressive removing the vitreous, especially that there's no peripheral retinal pathology. Here's the step of inferior indentation. Uh, what you want to see is you have a view where you can see the vitreous and the retina, and that's the best view you can get from your assistant. Interoperative OCT, the macula looks good, really not much epiretinal membrane to remove. You can see also the subretinal hemorrhage, um, which is chronic superior to the macula, which we're going to leave alone, of course. Now the final step of the surgery, opening the posterior capsule, and then removal of the trokers. Thank you for watching.